Oh hey friends, welcome back. We're gonna be making some impressive dessert recipes today. So today we'll be making three seductive desserts that are all actually no-bake desserts as well. So it's great if you don't have an oven or if it's getting really hot outside and you don't wanna heat up your kitchen, well then these are the dessert recipes you'll be wanting to make. And as an aside, if you do try these dessert recipes or if you've ever tried any of our Pickup Limes recipes, I actually wanna welcome you to leave a comment and a review on our website for that particular recipe. It'd actually really mean a lot. But for now, let's get started on making the desserts. For the first recipe, we'll be making a tropical mango and passion fruit dessert cup. If you do have access to fresh passion fruit, you're gonna need about eight to 10 of these for this recipe. But if you don't have access to it where you live, you could actually get the pulp from a jar sometimes or from the freezer section. So we get these little cubes from our freezer section and I'm just gonna let these thaw first. So we're gonna strain about three quarters of a cup of passion fruit pulp through a sieve to remove the seeds. And we're gonna let the juice of it fall into a saucepan. We're then gonna also add half of a cup of frozen mango chunks and two teaspoons of sugar. Let it simmer and cook to thicken slightly for about three to four minutes. Then we can remove it from the heat and set it aside to cool off for a little bit. So for this next part, we're gonna be making a homemade coconut whip. And this is a recipe that we actually already have on our website, so I'll link it for you below. But if you do wanna speed it up, you could always use a store-bought whipping cream instead. All we have to do is just scoop out the thicker part that comes from the top of a can of coconut milk and add it to a large chilled bowl and then whip it for a minute or two. Then we're gonna add some powdered sugar and vanilla extract and whip it one more time. And then that's pretty much it. You can pop this in the fridge for now if you'd like to. Then we're gonna add 165 grams of Biscoff Speculose cookies to a food processor. And we're also gonna add in two tablespoons of vegan butter and then blend this up until it creates a crumb. We're then gonna divide this mixture between our cups to create this cookie crumb crust. So we're just gonna gently press down on it firmly to flatten it. To the now empty food processor, we're gonna add the mango passion fruit mixture, and then we're gonna blend this up until it's smooth. And then to assemble the cups, all we're gonna do is layer the whipped coconut onto the buttery biscuit base, and then we can top it with the tropical pureed fruit. The passion fruit flavor is actually quite concentrated and strong, so a little on top actually goes a long way. If you'd like, you can also decorate it with some mango slices or passion fruit seeds, or maybe even some toasted coconut flakes. It's a light dessert that's an absolute flavor explosion and because of the tropical taste, it might easily become your new summer favorite. For the next recipe, we'll be making an elegant dessert cup that's inspired by the flavors of the classic Italian tiramisu dessert. In a bowl, we're gonna add two teaspoons of espresso powder, and then we're gonna pour over top a quarter of a cup of boiling water to dissolve it, so just give it a stir. Then we're gonna add in a third of a cup of cold water. And then typically, Marsala wine or a dark rum or the liqueur amaretto is used when you're making a tiramisu, but instead we're just gonna use almond extract, and this really nicely mirrors the almond taste that you'll find in amaretto. So just add a small splash of this as well, give it a stir, and then set it aside. And then to a large bowl, we're gonna add one cup of vegan cream cheese. You just wanna make sure though that this is neutral flavored, so when you're looking at the label, if it says plain or original, that's the one you wanna go for. And we're also gonna add in a third of a cup of sweetened condensed coconut milk and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna mix this all together until it's smooth. Preferably, if you've got an electric hand mixer, use that because it'll make it more soft and fluffy. But if you don't have one, using a spoon or fork should do the trick. So traditionally, tiramisu is made using the Italian ladyfinger biscuits, but where we live, we don't have access to any vegan versions of the biscuits. We could always make our own from scratch, but that would make this recipe take quite a bit longer. So instead, what we're going to use, and my Italian friends, please don't hate me for this, we're just gonna be using some digestive biscuits. Cookies, biscuits, cookies, something like that. 
So we're gonna break the cookie into a few pieces, one at a time, and let it drop into the espresso mixture for a few seconds. Once it's kind of coated on both sides, scoop it right out, and then transfer the soaked cookie to a cup or jar. And then use a spoon to crush it into smaller pieces. We're then gonna spread a thick layer of the cream cheese on top of the cookie base, and then we're gonna follow it up with even more cookie pieces that have been dipped in the espresso mixture. We're gonna add a final layer of cream on top of that, and then we can sift some cocoa powder on top. This is a dessert that you can enjoy right away if you'd like to, but I find that the flavor is best if you let it chill in the fridge for about an hour or so so that all the flavors can mature. This is why it's also a great recipe to prep if you've got company coming over for dinner and if you want to impress them with an incredible dessert. For the final recipe, we'll be dazzling the senses with this layered chocolate raspberry mousse. We're gonna start this recipe off with making the optional component first, which is a decoration called caramel shards, and we're gonna be decorating this on top of our mousse later on. But as I've mentioned, this is definitely optional. So we'll start with adding some sugar to a heavy bottom saucepan, along with a little bit of water, and then we're gonna let it gently simmer for a few minutes. You actually don't wanna stir it at all while it bubbles away. Just let it do its thing. And then when it's golden, we're gonna carefully pour it onto a parchment lined baking tray and then tip the tray to spread it out into a thin layer. Just be super careful because the melted sugar is incredibly hot. And then once it hardens, and this is the fun part, we can tap the back of a spoon onto it to shatter it into a whole bunch of little pieces. Now, moving on to making the actual dessert cups. To each serving glass, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of raspberries and we're gonna lightly mash it. And then to a food processor, we're gonna add 300 grams of silken tofu, 200 grams of melted dark chocolate, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of optional ground cardamom. Then we're gonna blend this all up until it's nice and smooth. We can then reserve about a quarter of this chocolatey mousse in a bowl, and then we're gonna divide the rest of it in our glasses or jars over top of the mashed raspberries. We can then pop these in the fridge while we're working on the next step. To a large bowl, we're gonna add half of a cup of vegan whipping cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and one tablespoon of a cream stabilizer. We're then gonna whip this all up until it forms stiff peaks. I like to reserve some of this whip. I'll be using it for the topping later on. And then we can add the reserved chocolate mousse to the whip and gently fold it in until it's just combined. We can then take our jars out of the fridge and we're gonna add some more fresh fruit on top of that first chocolate layer. You can use raspberries or strawberries or whatever else you'd like. And then we're gonna add the light chocolate whip over top of the fruit in our cups. You can then add the reserved whipping cream on top of that followed by some shaved chocolate. Once we've placed our caramel shards informally over top, this luxurious mousse is ready to dig into, but if you do prefer it to be a bit more firm, you can always pop it into the fridge for a few more minutes. It's got a smooth and satisfying airy texture, and the rich flavor of the chocolate pairs perfectly with the tart and juicy raspberries. Mm. Oh, and hey, I've actually never mentioned this before, but I want to welcome you to click the little bell icon that's next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time we upload a new video and you won't miss any of them. But I think that's it for today, friends. If you want the full breakdown to any of these recipes, as always, the links are in the description box below. And thanks so much for hanging with me today. Really appreciate it, Blends signing off, and we'll see you in the next video. Are you ready? You were filming that? Lovely longer. So instead, we're just going to be using some digestive biscuits. Digest, digestive biscuits. <laughs> ah! <laughs> just... <laughs> which is a really beautiful topping that we're gonna, like decoration that we're gonna add on top of the mousse later. I'm stuttering and stammering all over the place. <laughs> so and then we're gonna whip it.
We'll be real good. Dun, 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 dun.